Hey friends, welcome to the Grace Kids Studio. In Grace Kids, we are all about helping kids become like Jesus by loving God and serving others. This whole month we have been in a series about help. And this week we're gonna learn about how God helps us in our weakness. So let's get to it. Hi friends! This week we are learning about the God Helps. So hi, hi friends! Well, hello there. Who are you? My name is Helping Howie. Helping Howie, and who do you help? I help all sorts of people fixing broken things. Broken things? Oh my goodness! And are you a good teacher too? Well, I can ch- I can show some children one or three things. One or three things. How many is three? It's just this many. Sometimes it looks a little weird with my lazy eye. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, so, this week we're teaching the kids that God helps us in our weakness. That is so good to hear because I'm a little tired. You're a little tired? I'm a little weary, that's for sure. You're feeling a little weak? Just fixing all sorts of things and my energy level is run down. Oh no. Run so, down. Run down. So what things have you fixed this week? I fixed a cat from a tree. <laughs> that was a big fix. You fixed a cat I, from look, a tree? Look, I fixed that camera right there because earlier you'd have been looking at us like this, but I fixed it right up you and now fixed, we look straight. You fixed the camera. The camera, the wheel, huh? Um, I'm good at fixing you, wheels. You are so good and you're so good about getting in people's real clothes. Sure. Real I'm close. a clothes talker, I'm one of those. <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, you know what? You know who helps us in our weakness? Who does that? Just, God does. I'm so glad. Yeah, because he's going to help you as you help others. Are you serious? I'm s- serious. Serious. Is that how you say it? Just touch my teeth. It comes out that way. Don't be making fun. Oh, never. Your teeth are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's see what we learned today. Okay. <laughs> Hey friends, we are in week two of our memory verse of Psalms 121.2. And I have my friend Ashley here, and I'm gonna teach her, and you guys are gonna teach her this memory verse. You ready? I'm so ready. Okay, all right, here we go. We're gonna throw the verse up on the screen, and we are gonna take away some words. So let's real quick say it all together on the count of three as fast as we can. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. My My help comes comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, Psalm 121.2. Okay, all right, let's take away some words. Okay. See how we do. Oh, that's a, Whoa. That's a, that's a lot of words. How and. do you feel? And. I don't, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> all right, well, well, let's try. Okay. Let's try. Okay, I believe okay. in you. You can okay. do it, kids. She can do it, right? Yeah, okay. okay. One, two, three. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalms 121, two. Was that okay? I think you did it. I think I heard all the words, but I was really just focused on my words. Do you feel good? I, I yeah, I feel okay. good. Okay, all right, let's do it one more time, but with yeah. no words. Okay. 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 All right, one, two, three. My, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalms 121, two. Good job. Thank you. Good job, kids. Good job. Hey, Grace Kids. So last week we started off with the story of Moses. We found he was in the Nile River. He was rescued by Pharaoh's daughter. His sister Miriam went to live with him at the palace. And today we're going to pick up that story right where we left off. Now, our big idea for today is this. God helps us in our weakness. If you have your Bible, open it to Exodus chapter 3. And we're going to pick up the story where we find Moses. It was in a basket. He was rescued. And as he became an adult, one day, Moses saw something that made him very upset. He saw something that was going on that was wrong. And so Moses got into a fight. And he actually killed the man. And he was so afraid what was going to happen. He ran. He got out of there. And for the next 40 years, he was on the run because he was so afraid he would be found out. During that time, Moses got married, had a son, and he became a shepherder, a sheep herder. Okay, he watched over sheep. Like, look at all these sheep around me. You can imagine being a sheep herder with all that many sheep. Well, that's what he was doing. And one day, he was watching over the sheep, and he came across this bush, and the bush was on fire. But it was not burning up. Because inside that bush was actually God, and God was speaking to him. And here's what God said to him in Exodus chapter 3. When the Lord saw him, he said to him, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. And he said, do not come any closer. Take off your sandals for the place where you're standing is holy ground. 
And then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And at this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Now, can you imagine God speaking to you? Well, that's exactly what happened. And in Exodus chapter 4, God told Moses, he said, I want you to go talk to Pharaoh. And he was like, oh, I don't know. So God's like, you're going to go talk to him. And he goes, I can't. So Moses started making up excuses. And first thing he said was, he said, I can't, I'm slow to speak. Now, I've never had that problem. I don't speak very slow, right? Then he also said, well, God, I stutter. And then lastly, he said, God, I'm just not very smart. But God was like, you know, Moses, you are the man to go talk to Pharaoh, and I'm going to give you some help. I'm going to send you your brother Aaron, and I'm also going to send you a staff. And just remember our big idea for today, God helps us in our weakness. So I have a paper cup here, and I have my friend Allie. Hi, Allie. Hi. So I have this paper cup. Do you think that if I put this paper cup down here on this bench that you can stand on it without squashing it? No, you don't think so? Okay, let's test it out. We're gonna put the paper cup there. All right, you hop on up here. Okay, and stand on it. Go ahead, stand on it, all the way, all the way. Oh no, it broke, you were right. Okay, jump on down. You're right because this paper cup alone is weak, right? Was it weak? It squashed pretty easily. But what if I put lots of cups here? Do you think maybe you could stand on it then? Maybe? All right, let's give that a try. So we have lots of cups here because we know that God helps us when we are weak. When we are alone, we are like one paper cup all by itself. But when we have God, we have his strength with us. Okay, Allie, let's step right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and stand on the paper cups now. <gasps> Look, it worked. You can stand on all of the paper cups because God helps us in our weakness. Just like standing on all the paper cups together, God makes us strong. Remember that this week we learn how God can help us through our weakness, just like how he helped Moses through his. And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that you can always provide your strength for us when we lack it. And that no matter what we go through, when we feel weak, you will always provide for us. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. We'll see you guys next week.